Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about what bass actually look like on side imaging and down imaging. Hey guys, before we get started today, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, that way you get these videos when we're bringing them out to you. Also, go check out columbusbarrelco.com. Use the coupon code BASS25, that's BASS25, and you're gonna get 25% off some of the most awesome products you have ever seen. So let's talk today a little bit about what bass actually look like on side scan and down scan. So what do bass look like on side imaging? Really, simply put, a bass is gonna look like a white dot, right? And you're really looking for two things when you're looking for bass on the side scan, and that's the actual return of the fish, and then that fish's shadow, right? So you're gonna have a white dot, which is the actual fish, and then behind that, or to the side of that, you're gonna see a shadow. And the further away that that white dot is from the shadow, the actually higher, the more suspended that that bass is. If you see a white dot and really close to it, you see a shadow, that bass is really close to the bottom. And that's also awesome because those fish where you have a white dot and a shadow real close together are typically the easiest fish to catch. Another thing that you wanna look at is that bass don't stack up really, really tall on our graph, right? Typically what you're gonna see is bass are lined up along the bottom, basically like turtles on a log. Basically you're gonna have bass lined up across the bottom or down an edge or whatever it may be. They're basically like lined up, they're in a line. The only time you're really ever gonna see bass stack up really, really high is if there's literally hundreds, maybe thousands of bass in a really, really small area. And really they just, they can't do anything but stack up high. But typically when you see a group of fish and they're stacked really, really high, that's typically either gonna be crappie or white bass. So don't waste your time trying to fish for crappie and white bass when you're trying to catch largemouth or smallmouth, right? Because that's not what you wanna do. You wanna look for those fish that are lined up across the bottom, right? Those are bass and if they're close to the bottom, typically those are gonna be catchable fish. And the more that you see a lot of times, the better you are because those fish are gonna get in competition for the bait. So if one picks it off, then a lot of times you can catch a bunch of fish. So look again for the lined up fish across the bottom. Another important thing to know is that bass are gonna to relate to some of the same areas that other game fish do as well. Not only are bass gonna to relate to, to bait fish like bluegill and, and, and shad, but they'll be in the same area sometimes as white bass and walleye and crappie. So sometimes, although you may see some fish suspended high, if you see that, again, if you see that lower kind of bottom area where they're lined up, you're gonna be able to tell, hey, there's bass mixed in with these white bass. I've seen that a lot. I've seen bass and white bass in the same schools sometimes. So just because you do see some suspended fish don't necessarily negate that, hey, those are white bass or those are crappie. Look for that line across the bottom because a lot of times, again, they'll be in the same areas as bass. Another important thing to know is that when you're actually seeing bass on your graph, mark the bass, not the structure, right? You can always mark structure. Like if bass are relating to a rock pile, sometimes they may be right on top of the rock. But I've seen it before where bass are actually off the side of a rock pile, sometimes on a bottom that may not be super hard. Uh, if you look at this image right here, this is a place I found on Chickamauga last year. And the bass weren't on the main piece of structure, they were off the structure. And so I marked those fish, I fired a deep diving crankbait back to them and started catching fish immediately. So again, when you're marking these fish and you know that they're bass, mark the individual bass, not always the structure, because the bass, again, can sometimes be just off the structure. And why they do that, I don't really know. I think sometimes it relates to fish being super pressured, and other times I think that sometimes there's a, a, an invisible current break that we can't see. A lot of times bass school up because of current situations. 
and sometimes we can't see exactly what that current is doing underwater and I think that sometimes bass will hold off of a piece of structure because it's out of the current and that's where they want to be. So it's important again, mark the bass, not always the structure, cast to the fish. Well hey guys, that's it for this video. Just a quick video showing you what bass look like on side scan, on down scan. Hey, don't forget to like that video if you made it this far, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.